Hello everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, I am Shantanu and along with me is Sangpal. Uh, hi guys. Good afternoon everyone. Uh, so we are going to uh, talk about viral jam that we have published recently uh, which is going to make Rails form accessible. And the topic of our talk is um, accessibility in Rails form viable with viable. So before uh, going to the topic of viable, we are going to uh, demonstrate uh, this uh, viable gem and how it is making Rails form accessible. But before that, uh, I would like to give a brief on uh, accessibility, web accessibility, assistive technologies and different web accessibility standards. This will uh, help us to understand uh, the functionality of Webble Gem and why uh, accessibility is important in uh, Rails framework. So what is uh, accessibility? Accessibility in simplest term, it is to make something usable to everyone regardless of disability. And the web accessibility is to make web content usable to everyone. Uh, to access the computer and web content, the person with disabilities use different assistive technologies. Like for uh, visually impaired and low vision users, different assistive technologies are screen magnifier which uh, magnifies the computer screen and low vision users can use the screen to use the computer. Another one is uh, Braille Viewer, which outputs the computer uh, screen output will be in the Braille format. So the blind users can uh, use the computer with Braille Viewer. And another one is Screen Reader. Uh, this is the most uh, usable and most popular uh, assistive technology used by the low vision users and blind users. A screen reader user is also essentially a keyboard user. Uh, I will go uh, deep into the screen reader. Uh, screen reader is a software which gives output in the audio format to the user. So whatever in the computer screen, it reads out and gives output in the audio format. For different operating systems, there are different screen readers available. Uh, for example, uh, Windows operating system has uh, NVDA, JAWS, Windows Eyes. Uh, example for uh, Linux operating system screen reader is Orca and for uh, Mac OS there is VoiceOver. So now uh, how this screen reader actually uh, works? I will try to uh, explain it in sim uh, simple terms. Uh, screen reader has two different modes. One is document mode and another one is application mode. In document mode, the screen reader uh, reads out whatever in the screen and it gives uh, audio in input to the output to the user. In this mode, user will not able to interact, will not able to give any input to the computer. Like if you are filling a form, you cannot uh, give a keyboard entry in the, while you are in the document mode. It just reads what is on the screen. To do this, you have to uh, be on the application mode. So application mode takes uh, input from the user. Like uh, you are uh, filling a form, so you can uh, enter and application mode will take this. So this is the basics of uh, screen reader. Now uh, we know how screen reader works and how the blind and uh, low vision users use a computer with screen reader and keyboard. Now let us uh, look into the different web accessibility standards that have been evolved over the years to make web content accessible. There are many standards uh, available. Uh, for different countries also there are different regulations uh, for web accessibility. Uh, I will discuss about main two uh, standards. One is Web Content Accessible Guidelines, WCAG. This guideline defines different uh, standards to make basic 
web content accessible. Uh, but uh, suppose uh, in in uh, in a website there are uh, um, uh, rich widgets like tree view or tap panel. Now these are non-native HTML elements. Screen reader will not be able to read read these uh, rich widgets uh, as it is. So there is an accessibility issue when we use uh, these widgets in our uh, website. So how these rich internet applications uh, become accessible? There is a different guideline for this which called uh, WAI ARIA. It stands for Web Accessibility Initiative, Accessible Rich Internet Application. Uh, our uh, Weibel gym also uses these guidelines. This ARIA guideline has uh, ARIA property, ARIA state, ARIA roles for uh, making web content accessible. As we in Weibel also we are using these uh, standards. So the name also came, the Weibel name came also from the uh, name of WAI ARIA or WAI able, WAI stands for Web Accessibility Initiative. So now uh, let us uh, look into what are the accessibility issues uh, with the Rails web form. Uh, in a basic Rails web form, there are many uh, accessibility issues. One of them is uh, accessible form labeling, like uh, for uh, uh, radio buttons or check boxes, the form labeling as, are, are not accessible in Rails uh, form now because uh, when there is uh, many to one or one to many association between the label and the font control, there is accessibility issue. Also there is accessibility issue with mandatory fields. Uh, there is uh, no uh, information given by screen reader when the field is mandatory. Similarly, uh, for max length property, like for text field and text area, if uh, max length property is set, then also the screen reader will not allow anything about the max length property. And the and another one is the error message navigation. This is also also inaccessible in uh, basic uh, Rails form. So these uh, inaccessible things uh, like in a basic uh, form will be uh, demonstrated by Sangpal uh, by uh, using the screen reader. So Sangpal will demonstrate that. Uh, thank you Shantanu. Alt tab testing dash Mozilla Firefox testing dash Mozilla so, Firefox last name. So I will show you inaccessible form first. Uh, it has a text, text field, text area, radio buttons and check uh, drop down fields here. So uh, now uh, I am tapped through the different fields. Tap, first name edit. So first name uh, edit. Uh, here first name, last name, email is a mandatory field. Uh, Tap, last name edit, type la in text. Last name edit, but screen reader does not uh, read uh, any info regarding that uh, uh, max line, uh, sorry, uh, required field. Uh, app, email edit, type in text, app, password edit, type in text, app, mail radio button not checked, Fe mail radio button checked, one of two, to change the select, female radio button checked, two of two, to change the selection, press up or down arrow. So form label are uh, not accessible, uh, here screen reader does not speak main label, gender here. App, mobile number edit, type app, date of birth edit, type and text, app, address edit, type and text. So address has max length, uh, but screen reader does not speak uh, anything uh, regarding uh, max length. Over to Shantanu. Alt tab, okay, so PowerPoint slide show dash left bracket decan on. So now you have uh, seen what are the accessibility issues in uh, Rails web form. Uh, we have addressed these issues in our viable gem. So what we are offering in uh, Weibel gem? First of all, we have made uh, the form labeling accessible. Then the mandatory fields are also uh, accessible. The max for max and property, we, will, we have also added uh, accessibility features. And error message uh, navigation is also very uh, easy now. And uh, we have also added accessibility features into it also. So uh, I'll be 
uh, discussing about this uh, different features and Sangpani will demonstrate it one by one. Firstly, the accessible form labeling. Uh, as you have seen uh, in the inaccessible form, the form labeling for uh, radio button and check boxes are not accessible because uh, it is only uh, reading out the option labels, not the main label. So, with only option label, the user will not know what the field is about. To overcome this, we have added uh, ARIA label by property, which is a dub, as per WAI ARIA standard. So, in uh, ARIA label by property, we have added two different IDs for the two levels, one for the main level and one for the option level. As we provide both the IDs in ARIA label by property, the screen reader now reads both the level. And uh, we did it by uh, uh, generating default ID attribute for the label element with for attribute. So, with this ID then we pass this ID to the ARIA label by field. We have changed the rails form helper classes to accomplish this. Uh, this uh, also for the date select field in uh, rails helper class it will work. In date select fields there are multiple drop down boxes and only one label. So, in this case one label need to be associated with multiple uh, form controls that also we have done using aria label by. This will be uh, demonstrated by uh, Sangpal. Thank you Shantanu. So, I am unmute the speaker. Mozilla Firefox address edit hyphen escape virtual testing. So, I am going to the uh, navigating to the radio buttons. Mail radio button not checked tab female radio button checked two of two radio button not checked one of two mail. So, here screen reader speak the uh, radio button not check mail uh, radio button check female, but screen reader do does not speak the main label gender here. So, now I am let me switch to the accessible form. Last name escape so, testing. So, I am go to the radio button. Gender radio button not checked one of two tab gender female radio button not checked two of two male radio button not checked gender one of two. So, here screen reader speak the gender as well as male or female radio buttons check. This functionality implemented through uh, aria labeled by property. Over to Shantanu. Oh, tab, Thank you, Sankar. PowerPoint slide show dash. Uh, now, let us look into the accessibility of uh, mandatory fields. So, whenever a field is uh, required in the form field, a screen reader should uh, announce that the field is uh, required. Uh, to accomplish this, uh, we have added uh, aria required equal to true property. Uh, so, whenever uh, there is a field is mandatory by making the presence validator true in the model, then aria required true will be added for that field. We have added a different method which will uh, uh, check for the presence validator true. If it is true, then aria required true will be added. When the aria required true is added, then screen reader will uh, announce that this uh, field is required. So, th this will be uh, explained by uh, Sangpal. All tab testing dash mail radio button not checked so one escape. Here uh, uh, text field are a mandatory field. So, tab first name edit type and text. So, first name edit type and text. Tab last name edit type and text. Last name edit. Uh, these field are mandatory field, but screen reader does not speak regarding ma required field here. So, now I am switching to the accessible form. Gender radio button not checked, one escape, testing, tab, first name method required, you can enter maximum 20 characters in this field, you can enter tab, last name method required, type so, and text. Here screen reader speak the first name edit required, last name edit required. That is why screen reader user knows this field are mandatory field. Uh, over to Shantanu. All tab PowerPoint. Now, uh, let us uh, look into the max length property. For uh, text field and text area, when uh, the max length property is there, uh, there if there is max length property set, then screen reader should announce that uh, there is a max limit on this property. Otherwise, uh, the screen reader user will 
not know if there is a limit. So, he ends up uh, providing wrong information on that field. Uh, so, for that we have added uh, aria described by property. So, whenever there is a max length, then aria described by property will be added for that field and it will provide a message to the screen reader user that you can enter maximum this much character to this field. Uh, so, the screen reader user know in advance, okay, there is max limit and I, I cannot uh, enter more than this much characters. Uh, this will be explained by demonstration, Sangpal. Alt tab, testing dash Mozilla, last name method, escape, virtual so testing. Here first, uh, we, we have set a 20 uh, max limit on first name field. Tab, first name method, type in text. So, first name edit, type in text. A screen reader user, so I am typing here. Num lock on, testing dash so Mozilla Firefox. So, I am typing here numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 8, 9, 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, screen 7, 8, 9, Screen readers take the numbers 1, here. 0, 2, but uh, while finishing 20 characters, 5, 6, 4, uh, 8, screen 7, reader user does not know 5, this, uh, what 6, is the limit 4, on this field, 2, 6, but screen reader users 2, pick 5, the 6, numbers 4. here. So, tab, shift tab, first name, so first name method, type so text. Now, and let me switch to the accessible form. Last name method, escape, home, tab, email edit required, shift tab, last name method required, shift tab, first name method required, you can enter maximum 20 characters in this field, you can enter maximum 20 characters in this field. So, screen reader speak the you can enter maximum 20 characters on this field. So, screen reader user knows this field are uh, uh, max limit is 20 characters. So, this uh, functionality implemented by uh, area described by property over to Shantanu. All tab, power, PowerPoint now slide let's, show. Uh, look into the uh, how the error message uh, validation works. Uh, in a basic uh, Rails form, uh, when we click submit, then if there is a error, then the error message is displayed in a list format. And uh, normally the screen reader user will have to navigate to the error message list, reads out the error message, and then he will have to navigate manually to the field where the error is. And after navigating to the field, uh, he will have to correct the error there. And uh, he will also have to remember the error message, because uh, when he is on that field, the error message will not be uh, read out again by the screen reader. So, for a big form, it is a very lengthy process and uh, for a memory impaired users to remembering the, uh, to remember the error message while navigating is uh, sometimes impossible. Uh, so, these are the inaccessibilities with error message navigation. Uh, in Weibel Jam, what we did, we made these uh, error messages linkable. So, all these error messages are now links. When you click on the links, the focus will be on the field where the error message is. So, you do not have to navigate manually to the field, just click on the link and the field will be on the focus where the error message is. And uh, also, we have added uh, one more thing, the screen reader will uh, announce the error message when the focus is on the field, so that you do not have to remember the error message. Uh, and this uh, we have accomplished by adding uh, aria described by property to the field. So, uh, just click on the link, the focus will be on the field, error message will be uh, read out again by the screen reader. You correct this field, go back again to the error message list, uh, click on the next error message link and the focus will be on that field. So, that is how uh, the error message is now uh, properly uh, navigable and also accessible. This whole process will be uh, demonstrated by Sangpal. Alt tab, testing dash Mozilla, first name method, type in escape, for testing. So, first uh, I will submit the inaccessible form. Create user button. So, create user button. Enter first name button to activate press space bar. So testing dash Mozilla form. Firefox, six errors prohibited this user from being saved, colon heading level two, two so heading to testing. Six, uh, six errors generated here. So, I am going to the top of the page. Escape. Testing. So, I am. Blank. Heading level 1 in accessible user form. 
So I am reading the uh, error one by one. Heading level two six errors prohibited this user from being say list of six items. First name can't be blank. First name can't be blank. Last name can't be blank. Email can't be blank. Email can't be blank. So I am searching the first name field. Tab first name edit type in text. So I am correct it uh, then. Tab last name edit type in text. So last name I am correct it. So I forgot the uh, third error. So I am again go to the top of Escape. the page. Testing. Blank. Heading level one and access heading list of six first last name email can't be blank. So third error is email can't be blank. So I am again find the email field. Tab first name tab last name edit tab email edit type in text. So email edit. So this is uh, in a navigation diffi uh, navigation is a difficult for a screen reader user. Uh, also. Uh, J email edit escape virtual PC. Uh, also, uh, error uh, remembering error messages also difficult for screen reader users. So uh, let me switch to the accessible form. First name edit escape virtual P testing. Es escape testing. So I am submitting the for accessible form here with error. Create user button. Enter testing heading level one. Testing dash Mozilla Firefox accessible user form heading level one. So two headings and six escape. So I am going to the top of the testing. page. Blank heading level one accessible user form heading list of six items. Link first name can't be blank. So here uh, error messages are linkable. So link first name can't be blank. Link last name can't be blank. Link last name can't be blank. Link first name can't be blank. So I am uh, uh, clicking on link first name can't be blank. Enter. First name edit required. You can enter maximum 20 characters in this field. First name can't be blank. First name edit required. You can enter maximum 20. So uh, focus goes to first name field and also screen readers speak the error messages again. So next tab last name edit required last name can't be blank so uh, screen reader user uh, uh, not to remember the uh, error messages for uh, correct it and navigation also easy for screen reader users uh, thank you over to shantanu thank you sankal All tab powerpoint slide show so Control f7 now we have seen how the error messages are also accessible with uh, Weibel gem uh, apart from these uh, functionalities we have also included uh, aria label property for uh, form search field the currently the form search field now have a search field and then the button which have uh, says the like search id so when the focus is on the search field the screen reader will not announce anything about the uh, search field like what you are searching it will just say edit blank so for there we have uh, added aria label property it's like adding a hidden label only for the screen reader user so a screen reader user now will be able to know what the uh, search field is about. So with all these uh, functionalities, our Weibel gem is uh, making Rails web form completely accessible. And uh, we are uh, requesting to the Rails developers to use this uh, Weibel gem to make your Rails uh, web form accessible. And if there is any issues or any feedback or anything uh, about this uh, gem you can contact us and let us know if it's usable by the rails community then this project is successful uh, we would like to thank uh, Joe software for uh, providing us technical support and funding for this project also uh, thanks to pune ruby community for providing us technical support on this project and uh, lastly thanks to the Deccan Rubicon team for selecting our talk so that we can uh, present uh, Weibel Gem to the Rails community out here. Uh, now, few lines about our uh, startup Tech Vision. Uh, Tech Vision is a small startup where uh, most of our workforce are visually impaired. And uh, as we have to deal with accessibility, so accessibility is our niche area. And we provide uh, accessibility training we also do accessibility testing and uh, provide accessibility consultation to the corporates. Uh, lastly, I would like to conclude uh, with a message uh, from 
uh, in the inventor of World Wide Web, Tim Berners-Lee. The message says uh, the power of the web is uh, in its universality. Access to everyone regardless of disability is an essential aspect. Uh, thank you very much. All right, questions? All right, we have one question. Hi, uh, how does Viable handle or does it at all help in handling internationalization issues with respect to accessibility? So for example, you had messages here that were in, uh, inserted specifically for the screen readers, right? So are they internationalizable as in or localizable time zones, currencies and all those sorts of things and does it help in those sort of things uh, and is there a scope at all? Uh, like uh, you are asking that if the messages uh, will be internationalized, the message like ARIA described by you can enter these kind of things? Yes, so does it have like, uh, does it make it easier basically because it is obviously possible but like do you have any features and if at all it is open source so can people contribute to it in, uh, to, to add these features maybe? Yeah, we haven't added this uh, for uh, international property, we haven't, uh, I mean we haven't added it but we can add these things uh, for ARIA described by and other properties, yes. One more question. Okay. Uh, so the readout uh, is being done by the screen reader which is uh, say a component, native component on the OS, right? Uh, so is there any browser connection that happens to the reader? I mean, how do you access the screen readout from uh, something that's running in the browser? Sorry, I didn't get it. How I, how we access screen reader? So, so let's say you're working with Orca, right? Now Orca is running outside the browser and your tags and all that is running inside a, uh, is part of a web page which is inside a browser. So how does this talk to the uh, Orca server or uh, whatever to actually do the readout? Uh, I still didn't get this. Can you, no, can you be a bit I, louder? So what he's asking is mm. that uh, you have various installations like you have Orca. Yes. You know, uh, yes. you have, uh, what's the one you install on Windows? Uh, win, uh, NVIDIA. NVIDIA. Windows, uh, yeah. Right. So you have these different screen readers yes. on different operating systems. His question is how does it hook into the web? and try and connect and find out the accessibility, the ARIA part of the, uh, of all the web components in a browser. Okay, so there is a accessibility API for that. So all these uh, screen reader, uh, all these screen reader actually dif works differently with the browser. So uh, not necessarily every browser will uh, support or every browser and every screen reader will support the same way uh, in a component. So it so works like that and these screen readers are also in the development stage. It, uh, wherever, wherever there is a changes in the browser, it adds this functionality in the screen reader also. And uh, it uses the accessibility API. Okay, so you need browser support as well? Yes, uh, we also need to test for uh, different browsers with different screen readers. So actually I may add to that a little bit. So when you have these installations, these installations actually go at a system level. And when it hooks at the system level, they are actually tapping into the browser's callbacks. So typically this has nothing to do with ARIA but the installation itself because you're installing it in the system administrator so it taps into that. All right. There's one more question there. Uh, yeah, hi. So currently this implementation of yours is tied to stuff that would be built using Ruby on Rails, right? Yes. Uh, have you guys considered building a browser extension or something like which a Chrome extension or a Firefox extension, which can be installed and it allows the same accessibility features irrespective of what the website has been built with. Yes, yes. But uh, this Viable Gym is only for the Rails uh, thing. We haven't uh, worked on any plugin or uh, you are talking about browser plugins, right? Uh, uh, no, we haven't worked on it. Uh, currently, we, uh, this is only for the Rails framework, which will make uh, Rails uh, accessible. Okay, all right, thanks. Any other questions? All right, so 
the audience has been unfair on two accounts. First account, when a gold sponsor gets mentioned on the screen, what are you supposed to do? Thank you, George Software, for supporting this effort. And uh, the second count, uh, you all saw a quote from Tim Berners-Lee earlier, right? Did you all? How many of you all remember it? Can you say it right now? Oh, that's tough. I'm not asking you to actually say it. But did you realize that these two guys here have spoken for 30 minutes going through a presentation for our benefit? He could have, he knew Tim Berners-Lee quote verbatim. And he's putting on the slide so that we can follow it. Both of them are there, he's done it again. See how nice they are? But he knew the, not just the talk, the presentation flow, everything. Both of them, being visually impaired programmers, have not only been able to present here, but know the entire flow. So the amount of effort that actually goes in deserves a loud round of applause, please. <laughs> Thank you.